Each summer, Montana fish biologists put on dry suits, strap on masks, and peer into fish creeks, chilly waters. We tend to use snorkel surveys and instances where we can't really use electrofishing to monitor fish populations. And what we need to have is streams that are very clear for visibility. Um, and also they tend to be areas that are really sterile and don't really mesh well with electrofishing techniques. It is a fairly simple endeavor. Float along a section of river and count every fish you see. That is until you come to a big pool. Just being able to count them correctly with a fish moving around and some of them spooking, sometimes it's tough to just to get a count that fast. But other than that, as long as you do it systematically and cover the whole uh, stream width, it's a pretty accurate way to, to count fish populations. The accuracy of snorkel surveys is equivalent to other fish monitoring methods, but immersing oneself in this underwater world brings a whole other perspective. You can't beat it, it's a, it's a whole different world. I mean, it just, I don't think you really appreciate what's going on under the surface until you get a mask on your face and, and get in there with them and really see what's happening. This experience has led some anglers to ditch their rod and reel for a snorkel and mask. Winston Greeley, underwater with Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.